glow. Can you see it? The sparkle in the happy birthday? I'm going to show you how I did this today with just regular Watermelon Wonder ink and how I made this fun birthday card. So let's get started. Chris from My Stamp Lady and these are the supplies that I use. I use the Watercolor Word Stamp Set, Iridescent Ice Embossing Powder, see that lovely sparkle in there, and I used the Balloon Framelits. I've already cut my paper out with it. Uh, Fast Fuse, I'm going to show you some neat things about that. Cherry on Top Designer Series Paper Stack and Watermelon Wonder Ink and some rhinestones, crystal effects, and of course the embossing buddy for to prevent it sticking. Okay, start with, I have a piece and it's hard to see here, the vellum paper. And I am going to take my embossing buddy, I'm going to be embossing on this so I don't want the, the embossing powder to stick where I don't want it to stick. This is the happy birthday from the watercolor words. Ink this up with watermelon wonder. Because I'm stamping, first of all, the new um, firm foam pads do stay wet longer than the older style um, felt pads we have. But because I'm also embossing or stamping onto the vellum, it will take um, longer to dry so you have a little more time to work with I transferred it. my um, uh, iridescent ice embossing powder. That's an embossing powder mixed with glitter. I've transferred it to one of these little plastic containers so that I just have a bigger container to work with. Let's put that back. You can see um, the glitter that is part of the embossing powder. So now I'll heat up my tool, heat tool, and it works, goes a little quicker if your heat tool is warmed up. And I'm going to heat set this. Okay, you can tell it's heat set when you um, can see the difference. You'll see it changing as you heat it to more sparkly. But that is just a gorgeous way to get the happy birthday. At the end, you notice that I took and heated the back. That's just to get out any wrinkles. There's still a little bit. I'll take care of that when I do my adhesive. Okay, so let's pull in the piece of... This is a piece from the Cherry on Top paper. And I decided to do the vellum over it because it kind of um, mutes the background paper. And so there we go. So I lined it up perfectly over it. And what I did is I took the Fast Fuse. Now certain papers, I know some of the darker colors, it doesn't work quite as well. But certain papers work really well with the Fast Fuse and vellum that it's very difficult to see them to see it through it. So I'm giving it some good coverage so that it'll keep that vellum flat. So now I have the vellum right up to it and look at that. You can't really see. Let's see if I come in it might work better. Okay so then all I had to do next was I took some of the dimensionals and placed those on back. Took in a piece of this lovely thick Whisper White cardstock, placing this down. So there we go, we got to start. So now I'm going to pull in those pieces that I cut out with the balloon dies. And I did, This is these are run through the Big Shot. So I did two balloons. I did a banner and then a bow piece, this little edges there. A bow and then a piece hanging from it, a tassel. So I'm going to use the fast fuse to put this down. glue dots to put this down. I did use some of the adhesive transfer sheet to put down my banners, but we are coming out with a brand new like detail adhesive, so I'm anxious to try that. I haven't received it yet, but as soon as I do, I'm going to give that a try. And then I got to this point. 
I got to this point and I decided I needed a little something more down in this corner. So I pulled in some rhinestones. Rhinestones are great for adding just that little bit to it. And I thought this was the perfect way. Add a little bit of bling down in this corner and that will draw your eye down there. And the last step was to add crystal effects to my banner. The reason that this is the last step is because the crystal effects take some time to dry, but you just cover, squeeze some out, use a tip to move it around your banner piece or the watermelon wonder piece. Okay, I went a little bit over the edge here on these really thin spots, so I'm just taking in a paper piercer and kind of picking up that little bit of crystal effects there. Okay, so why I did this last is because the crystal effects does take quite a bit of time to dry, but once it does, you get that epoxy look or the little, um, little shiny look to it. And you have a really fun card to send off to somebody that wasn't that hard, and I love how the vellum kind of mutes the background paper so it's not so strong. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me, Chris, at mystamplady.com. All of the supplies are available in my online store at shopwithmystamplady.com. You can also find the supplies listed down in, uh, those, in the information below on YouTube. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. Thanks a lot and have a great day.